This is my dream gaming computer. And all around, it's the perfect PC, except for the fact that it cost around $3,000. So today I am building a budget-friendly computer while still keeping the aesthetics and performance of a really high-end build. All right. We're ready to go. Welcome to a little segment I like to call Building a PC with Cass. <laughs> now I know in all my videos I say I can't build anything, but don't worry because there's always instructions of course. Yeah, see, whenever you get PC parts, it doesn't really come with instruction, or I guess it kind of does. You don't really get a step-by-step -step guide on how to build it unless you watch a YouTube video. I'm not watching a 30-minute YouTube video. It's technically been like two years since I built a computer, but know why it doesn't matter? Because I do have an instruction manual right up in here. I am not gonna to get a functioning PC today. Really the only main goal though for today is just pretty much to get a functioning PC. <laughs> and of course, as always, this isn't sponsored and I'm not paid to say this, but the only way that I'm gonna get this done is with a Juvi, which you can buy on drinkjuvi.com. Again, not sponsored. But before we get into building literally anything, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys all the PC parts and what we got for the build. For the CPU, we went with a Ryzen 5 5600X. I honestly don't even know if this is a good CPU. I just know that it was on, it was like on sale, so we went with it. <laughs> we have an SSD 980 M.2 uh, oh, SSD. <laughs> We went with 16 gigs of the Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM. Like I just said, this is also going to be a streaming PC, so I went ahead and picked up the Elgato 4K Pro uh, capture card. This thing was super, super sick. I'm actually really excited about this. For the graphics card, we got my first ever white GPU. This is the GeForce RTX Gigabyte Vision 3060. Really, really excited about this thing. I'm not going to lie, I already opened it and took a look at it because I was really excited. But this is super, super sick, and I'm honestly really excited to get into this thing. We got some white Asia horse cable extensions. For the motherboard, I went with a ROG Strix B550A gaming motherboard. Now before I get to the final parts, as you guys do know, I am 17 years old, I'm not rich, and I couldn't afford this on my own. So I have to thank the sponsor of today's video, Deep Cool. Which gets us into our next parts. For the AIO, I went with the Infinity Series LT720WH 360 millimeter liquid CPU cooler. This is from my friends over at Deep Cool. He went ahead and sent this out to me to show off to you guys in today's video, as well as putting it in this build. And it looks super, super sick. I'm honestly really excited to check it out. I got two packs of the Deep Cool FC 120 white fans. We have a 80 plus gold 650 watt Deep Cool power supply. And I'm not picking up the case for fun, but we have the C51. We have the CH510. We have the CH510WH Mid Tower ATX PC case, and it actually looks super, super sick. I'm honestly excited to see it out of the box. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the build. Now, I am way too lazy to move my camera over and over and over again, so I got a C-stand. Kind of. Yeah, so this is, so this is my brand new uh, C-stand. It looks super sick. Uh, it gets the job done. Honestly, if there's one thing in life I could ever not go without, it's tape. I swear I use it for literally everything. Now, is the camera stable? Not necessarily, but it gets the job done. Like, look, you guys can, like, see my hands. All right, enough blabbering. Let's get into the video. All right, first step, of course, is the, uh, the motherboard. And as a pro veteran PC builder, I do remember that you should always do this stuff on top of the box for, like, cushioning. All right, step two is the scariest part of this entire build, so no pressure at all. And that's the CPU. Let's not drop this, come on. Can, can this box open? Ooh. Ah! Oh, oh! I touched the bottom, I touched the... All right, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. CPU's in. Now we just gotta close this down. I think I did it. <laughs> I think I, I think we're good. I think we're good. I won't lie. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't nerve wracking. <laughs> All right, step two, or what step am I on? All right, gotta do. I think it's the first one and the third one. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Why can't I line it up? Okay, that doesn't look right. I think I did it. I think we're good. All right, let me try to do the second one. Apply minimal pressure. I think we're good. One thing that makes building PCs really, really hard is I have like extremely unsteady hands. I'm constantly shaking, um, which could come into use someday. Uh, and you know, what? I un what? One of my pins is bent. It came bent. 
I think I bent it back into place. That wasn't even my fault. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about like, why did you only get a 500 gig SSD? Like I said, this PC is literally gonna only be for streaming, and so I don't need, I don't need a lot of storage. Yo, I what? The SSD is like pretty simple, right? Yeah, and I think I just need to push it down. I need a screw. You know, so far this is going good. Um, I don't know what I have left. The only part about building a PC that's like hard in my opinion is the uh, the part where you have to like plug it all in and make sure it works. If you if I gaslight you guys into like thinking I'm knowing I know what I'm doing, if I do something wrong, you guys will just assume it's right. So I think that's my plan for the video, and that's just to uh, gaslight you guys into thinking I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, am I doing this wrong? Is it supposed to go this way? Oh, <laughs> I was putting the, the, the hard drive thingy on wrong. I'm pretty sure this is all we need to do to prep the motherboard, right? I could look at a video and make sure I'm doing this right, but honestly, I think we're just gonna wing it. The next part is putting it into the computer case, right? Yeah. As badly as I wanted to open up and see what this case looks like in person, I kind of just hold it held, held, I, I, I waited, I waited, okay? All right, you know what, I'm gonna... Okay, why did I lower the desk? That didn't help at all. Hang on. Okay, this is the PC case. I can't even really see it, to be honest. Nice, yeah. Okay, this looks sick. Now, if I remember correctly, you quite literally just set it on it, right? I need screws. Where are those at? I swear they're supposed to come in the motherboard box. Are they, not supposed to, are they not supposed to come in the motherboard box? Or am I confused? Who do I know that knows how to build a PC? Siri, FaceTime Putsy Aiden. Please answer. Please answer, actually. He's not gonna answer. Building a PC will forever just make me feel dumber and dumber and dumber every single time. Pretty sure step two is to put the AIO in. And it might not be step two, but I'm also now convinced that this isn't gonna fit in here. It could fit actually. Holy crap, that is a big AIO block thingy, thingy thong, yeah. <laughs> this is so scuffed. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I think it can work, I think it can work. Don't give me attitude, bro. I, I need I need a question. Okay, it will work. I thought it would, okay, thank you. Yeah. Awesome, thank you, Jaden. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> this is the part last time that I actually like broke my AIO. Goal for right now is just not to break this one. I went right through through the tubing, which is like the one thing that it tells you not to do. So right now we're just gonna make sure we don't do that. And I think we'll be okay, to be honest. That barely fits. It fits, but it barely fits. Hey friends, I'm dying to see how Oh! Wait, have they all been screwing into the AIO? Wait. Oh shit. Goal for right now is just not to break this one. These are literally the right screws. Okay, wow, cool. I've been screwing into the AIO this entire time. Dog, what? What is this thing saying? That's Google.com. I'm not watching a 30 minute YouTube video. Oh! Oh. Oh, and then I just like, that makes so much more sense. I won't lie. To be fair, it didn't clarify I needed uh, the back plate and the instructions, so. Am I out of storage on my on my heart? Am I am I out of storage? Oh no, the battery's dead. That makes more sense. I'm literally so excited about this, you guys. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! This looks so sick. <laughs> Wait, this looks so cool. Oh my gosh! I need to put this on Twitter ASAP. 
but in there, wow, that looks so good though. Like, look at this, look at this graphics card. This thing just looks literally absolutely insane. I don't know how well the top angle shows it, because I know the quality of the top angle camera isn't the best, but like, look at this thing. I can't express how happy this makes me. So happy that I can have a drink of this Juvie. Drinkjuvie.com. Putting in a graphics card and making it work is super easy. Um, yeah, I just never do it right first try. Cool. All right, now we just gotta screw it in. Wow, this PC actually does look pretty insane, I won't lie. Now on a normal day, this would be a fully built computer, but this is a streaming computer. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna be installing the uh, Elgato 4K Capture Pro thingy. This is just basically what's gonna, what's gonna capture whatever's on my gaming PC and send it to this PC. It's kind of tiny, to be honest. I think I did it right. Did I even? Was I even in frame with that? I wasn't, was I? Here, let me just fake it for the video. Wait, don't I need like a? I need a flash drive to install Windows, don't I? I don't have one of those. This is where stuff gets real and uh, becomes hard to build stuff. So to be honest, I'm probably gonna just listen to music and try to speed run through all this. So if I don't talk much, don't be surprised. The PC is what I. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's finished. I also don't know if everything's plugged in, I'm gonna be 100% honest, but uh, I hope it is. I just wanna see if this thing works, I'm gonna be honest. I also can't really see the front of it, so uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so I have Windows installing right there. We're getting that ready. Um, I have the PC already on the desk, ready to go, ready to get Windows installed. Um, I also went ahead and, like I said, cleaned up the literal entire area, so it's all good to go. But uh, yeah, right now it's currently 1.11 in the morning, meaning I've been building this PC for seven hours, seven or eight hours, something like that. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time that I've been doing this. You know, I was expecting it though. I wasn't expecting it to go by too fast. So yeah, at this point, it's just kind of like a waiting game to see how long it'll take for Windows to finish installing. It's been going for like 25 minutes though, so hopefully it'll be done soon and we can go ahead and get this whole PC thing finished out of the way and we can uh, we can have two PCs. This is kind of crazy, I won't lie. All right, hello, good morning. It's like the next day. Uh, last night I got really tired on waiting for everything to update, so I went to bed. Anyways though, the PC is up and running. Now I do currently have it tucked back here because I needed to get out my way, but just to show it off to you guys, I can go ahead and move it forward. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful of a computer. Now right now I have this computer routed back to my vertical monitor And so my gaming computer is these two. It's honestly been kind of weird getting used to only using two monitors again I'll get used to it though. It is completely fine. But like look at this thing. It is absolutely beautiful And of course with a brand new PC, there is only one thing we can do to end up this video. Roll the montage Again, huge shout out to Deep Cool for making this video possible. Thank you guys so much for sending out the parts. I am honestly in love with them and the AIO looks so, so crisp. Again, if you wanna pick up any of these parts, they will be linked down below in the description, so go ahead and check it out. But I love you guys so, so much. Again, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe to go ahead and join the family. I love you guys so much, and like always, hope you guys have a great day.